Hello, my name is Manslave, and I am a proponent, and I believe that I'm the creator of a, uh, unless somebody did it, uh, unless somebody else has done it, but I believe that I am uh, the creator of the uh, elite MIGTO um, philosophy. Um, it's what I tried to, I basically tried to carve out my own path. Um, and I differentiate from, um, from the typical men going their own way, um, movement. And, um, that's just a little background on me. It's a pretty good description. Uh, the reason why I'm making this video is because I want to make a tutorial for, uh, some people who decide that they want to follow on the path that I've laid for myself, uh, and anyone who wants to follow, um, this movement is for men only, um, and as elite MIGTO, that is, elite men going their own way, uh, it, it's different from typical men going their own way, and it's definitely different than men's rights activists or any other type of men's movement. That's the goal that I've set forth, and it's basically a more profound version of the men going their own way. Um... <clears throat> Now, we have our own form of activism um, that is different from men's rights uh, movements. Uh, we are sympathetic to the men's rights cause, but we, we don't think that uh, MRAs, men's rights activists, are going to be really what's necessary to, to turn the tide of the gender war. Um... And as Elite MIGTO, we are somewhat of like, I think of us as like um, the hermit monk. Uh, that, that in a way, keeps more to himself, especially in regards to, you know, relationships and all that. Um, he, you know, he's uh, a elite man going his own way. Um, basically um, abandons the hope, well, abandons the desire to even want a relationship. And where Elite MIGTO is different than even um, the typical men going his own way movement, or, well, philosophy actually, it's a, more of a... It's, a, it's more of a philosophy than a movement. Um... <clears throat> Now, um, the elite form of men going their own way that I've intended to set forth is um, something that uses celibacy as a form of protection because an elite MIGTO rec would recognize that relationships and especially intimacy is very, very risky. And Stardust is a person... Uh, this guy right here, uh, Stardust, is a person who recognizes uh, that risk. He's mentioned that in his videos in the past. Um, this right here is a very good, um, a very good uh, interview here. Uh, really good. Now, um, I want to get to what I intend to do, which is <clears throat> I'm making this tutorial for members of. Uh, of a movement that I am creating, uh, organizations, so forth, and having a philosophy for that, and even a mythological um, and allegorical teaching system, I want to um, basically make this, um, this tutorial about how to create your own vidlib, as me and the Disposable Human Doing um, call our video library. What we do is we have external USB hard drives. He has only one and he has two flash drives, uh, external USB flash drives. I have how many? 
Let's see. I have about six external USB hard drives. Um, two of which are the little two and a half inch pocket drives, and the other four are full size uh, desktop hard drives that um, they have their own power supply. And <clears throat> anyway, I recommend a minimum of a 500 gig external USB hard drive which now the smallest capacity hard drive that you'll find new is 500 gigs so that's fine uh, I recommend a terabyte um, it, you know but you know depending on how serious you are about this uh, 500 gigabyte might be might be just fine <clears throat> a terabyte would be adequate um, now okay here's what we do now, I'm using the Firefox web browser, and I use this little tool here, Download Helper. I'm going to show you where to get started. Uh, now, now I've got this in here. Okay. I just, and then we're going to search. I like to use this little search bar here. Uh, all right, this tool here. Now, if you wondered how I got the little search in there like that, it's really easy. Um, you just, let's say you're on Yahoo or Google. It doesn't matter. You get on some kind of mainstream search engine. You type in Mycroft. <clears throat> now, what you're looking for is a website called mycroft.mozillaDev.org. And what you'll do is, um, now the first thing I do is type in Mycroft again. And um, you just confirm the URL. You see the URL down here at the bottom left hand of the screen. It's mycroft.mozilladev.org. Click on it. Now I already have it installed, and then it will put it up in here. Now once you got that installed there, um, you can go in and um, you just search for something. And you could find out how to put a um, a search engine um, in your. Uh, you just click on it, and then you can add to and um, see. And I got the error mes message because I already have a lot of these installed. And you type in Firefox here, and uh, you. If you live in the United States of America, like I do. You go here, you look for the ENUS version, click on this, it's already installed. <clears throat> um, and then, but anyway, that will bring you up to here. And then you type in what you want to look for, which I already showed you that I did that. Video Download Helper. Now this is a very good little tool, and there's some other ones that are good, but this is the one I use. And you just click on it, add to, uh, add to Firefox. Um, I already have the, the, um, I already have it installed so I'm gonna cancel that and here it is um, right here now I want to show you how to grab videos from uh, YouTube now I want to look up a YouTube user I got uh, violent women among us and he's a great guy he's an older guy he's not as young as some of us um, and mostly what he does is he puts he honestly I th in, in my interpretation, I think he is um, a, a retired guy who watches a lot of television, and he does a very important thing, and he makes a very important contribution uh, to the elite MGTOW movement. Uh, well, pff, I need to stop calling it a movement. Uh, the, the elite uh, people who adopt the elite MGTOW uh, philosophy and he basically shows these videos uh, well he uploads videos which are basically news clips television clips all that um, and it shows women doing the same horrible things that they stereotypically accuse men of doing now I need to go and look for some videos of his that I have not yet downloaded um, so I'm going to look at browse videos and um, 
Okay, female vampire. Uh, ooh, okay. Um, need to just find a few. Uh, woman high on mushrooms gets. Uh, well, this one might be an interesting. The point is, you pick a video, and you just click on this video here, and you'll probably hear the audio come up in a minute. <clears throat> I'm going to skip the advertisement. I may have this video already, so I'm going to look up. Um, let's see. All right, Fem TV. Um, oh gosh, what was I looking at earlier today? I'm gonna go back to my. This video is gonna be too damn long. It's gonna suck. Oh well, Mr. Vampire Lover 56 won't care. <laughs> oh man, oh that dude is cool. And actually, this is this video is targeted a little bit more toward him anyway. Um. All right. Um. All right. Oh crap! I feel like I'm running out of time. Fem. Okay, the Fem TV. <clears throat> now, the purpose of a vid lib, and that's what me and DHD, you know, the disposable human doing, we call it. And keep in mind, I'm manslave, just in case you forgot. Uh, validation warfare is just the YouTube. You know, the, the validation warfare is what I call the YouTube channel. And validation warfare is toward the very core of this whole gender war and what's going on. Um, that that's that's more of a deeper understanding of you know of what of what things are uh, in this. Now, uh, <clears throat> uh, let's see uh, Fem, the Fem TV. They've been on for just a little bit more than a month, uh, so they're not expected to have a whole lot of videos. Um, now, um, now look at all these women, describe <laughs> seek truth, speak truth, yeah. You know what, it just, alright. No, oh, fuck! Okay, these bigots subscribe to Feminist Frequency. Oh, gosh. It already tells me something about them. Now, I found these, these, uh, these two people today, and, uh, uh, Send them some messages and all that. Um, now, um, okay, here's the thing. We build our video libraries because me and the disposable human doing, we are like hermit monks. You know, like a monk that does intense study. Okay, and we have Blu-ray players with, with USB ports on them uh, that play files. They got all the smart functions and all that and access the internet and they're great and you can get you can get them now for less than a hundred dollars. You can get them you can get some of them now for less than seventy five dollars with all that functionality. I highly recommend it. Uh, the Blu-ray players today are excellent. Um, the Blu-ray player that I have is made by Sony and it's the BDP S five eighty, which was about a hundred and fifty dollar Blu-ray player about a year ago in two thousand twelve. Then a few weeks after I bought it, it dropped to $109. Excellent Blu-ray player. The features are phenomenal. The ease of use for the interface is just its pretty good. Um, and even though I paid 100, about $150 for it, um, it, it, to me, honestly, it was worth it. Uh, it's been very reliable. I'm very satisfied with it. It's even got 3D. Not that my TV does that anyway, but... Um, you know, it's got Wi-Fi, it's got all kind of stuff. Like, every other month, they give you a bunch more apps on it just for free because they don't have an app store, so they just automatically give you apps. Uh, it came with Amazon Instant Video, which is great. Um, it plays MPEG-4. I think it plays Flash Video. Uh, I think it plays Windows Media Video. Um, it, it plays MPEG-2. It plays a lot of things. Uh, I often encode my videos in H.264. Um, you know, it's pretty good. Well, anyway, and me and the disposable human doing, we also have high-definition televisions. We have external USB hard drives filled with content. Uh, you can see right up here, here's uh, 
my external USB hard drive, and I've got several of these videos here about the, you know, this is, um, actually, sorry, this was, it's on my computer right here that you've seen. And this is my external USB hard drive. And, um, now we have, um, we have movies on here too. Like, like I, I bought a bunch of DVD movies over the years and I just use this computer and a program called a handbrake right here to rip and transcode. I got my own uh, profile set up, six reference frames, six bi-directional frames, pyramidal B frames set on smart, weighted uh, predictive frames, um, eight by eight transform, Kabak enthropy encoding, motion estimation method is set for uneven multi-hexagon, sub-pixel uh, motion estimation mode set for um, you know level nine or uh, RD refine in all frames. Motion estimation range set, uh, range set for 24, which is good. 16 is uh, typical, but I do 24. Adaptive, uh, adaptive, uh, adaptive direct mode set for automatic. Adaptive B frame set for optimal. Uh, partitions are uh, set for all, and I got the trellis set for encode only. Um, video quality got the RF. You know, see here's the video encoder, which is H.264, <clears throat> also known as uh, MPEG-4 Part 10, also known as Advanced Video Codec. Got the RF quality set to 12. Um, audio, I just usually select AC3 pass through so that the audio as it is on the DVD um, does not get processed; it just gets copied. Uh, because the audio, I don't think, takes up all that much space anyway. I mean, look, it's only like it only goes up to 448 kilobits for the bit for the total bit rate. Uh, that way, you don't have to worry about any risk of of uh, audio becoming off sync because of uh, processing or any kind of glitches like that. It just directly copies it over into your video. And so many things handle AC3 also. AC3 is also known as Dolby Digital. Uh, it was a de facto standard, I mean, like on DVDs, um, and it's a compressed, a lossy compressed audio format, similar to MP3. It's not the same thing as MP3, but that gives you an idea of what it does, and um, and it's not used as much anymore on, on well, especially not really used on Blu-rays. I mean, it, it is on there as an option, but the primary focus for audio now on Blu-ray is to use DTS HD Master Audio because it is a lossless, uncompressed audio format, so it represents true quality. Usually sampled 24 bits of data allocated for each sample, sampled at usually at least 48 kilohertz, which is 48,000 times per second, um, and usually six channels, which is 5.1. Um, handbrake, excellent program. Now, in case you've noticed, I'm not using Microsoft Windows. I'm using GNU Linux. More specifically, Linux Mint 13. Excellent operating system. There's other good Linux distros out there. It's another thing. Um, you know, we, we we don't use Microsoft Windows and we hate it and all that. And it's just, you know. So anyway, uh, okay, how to build your video live. Well, first of all, go back to it. We... Um, we we have a bunch of movies on here ripped and transcoded that we own, uh, that that you know we purchase and especially me I have like so many DVDs, rip and transcode, um, and study the movies, watch them from the external USB hard drive through the Blu-ray player onto the HD TV. It's really easy to do. I taught myself how to do this. It's just basically plug and play, you know, and it's just great. I seldom ever swap out discs. And, um, so anyway, uh, grab videos off of, uh, the internet. All right. Uh, let's, uh, all right. Now, here, I'm going to do a demonstration. I'm going to take a video here. Um, I want to check their uploads. I'm going to grab all the videos here off of, uh, this YouTube channel. They only got six, okay? And this is how you build your vidlib or video library as we do it. All right. Just right click, open in a new tab. Hey everyone, welcome to Natural Chemistry Team. This is our 6th episode. I'm Amanda, Sean Kishora. 
I'm not sure if you can hear this, but you know, you'll see the link in here. Um, all right, what we go is you can grab the medium quality, which is usually for um, <clears throat> it represents 480 uh, resolution, like standard definition. Uh, I'm going to grab the 720. Um, the 720 um, resolution. Oh gosh, where is um, where is the? Uh, oh, I know I uh, ah Fem TV. And you just download it here. I'm going to grab the 720 res versions uh, because that's the highest quality. Now, if they had 1080 full HD, I would have grabbed that and a standard definition. Um. But I'm going to grab the 720s. All right. Now close that tab. Now you can see it's downloading, and um, I got another um, little uh, function here. Um, what this is right here, if you're curious about it, is the download status bar. And it's another very good little add on for Firefox. It's just really great. I like it a lot. I like it way better than the standard download manager. And you can see uh, I got a pretty fast internet speed. I'm downloading it about 2.1 megabyte per second because I got 20 megabit per second cable internet connection. Uh, now you see an option download link is MP4. Um, that doesn't always work reliably because of protocols on websites and all that. Uh, but I've got that option. I uh, got this video, download the 720 version, close that, you see it's downloading here, you are beautiful, well, depends on what kind of beauty you're talking about, you know, um, I'm just grabbing this video here, um, because, you know, I have like me and the disposable human doing we have no shortage of finding we have no there, okay there are no shortage of women of whom me and the disposable human doing interpret as attractive there are plenty of women who are attractive enough according to our standards that is for outward physical beauty um but as for internal you know uh beauty as for you know uh the mental and the the emotional the personality and all that the internal characteristics most women are ugly uglier than shit um let's see what this does when i uh download the uh no i'm not gonna do that but apparently it is it's gonna let me do it um i just want to make sure that i got the the 720 version types of feminism yeah I'm sure there's plenty different versions of bigotry out there now if you see this this number appear here what that is is um the number of videos in queue uh, that it has to, to do you know like for the badge um, why we identify as feminist. Um, 720 version. Well, actually, I already have that, so that'll conclude that. I'll have all six of their videos. Now, you see it's downloading. I'm sustaining a megabyte per second. Well, I was. Now it dropped down to like 800 kilobyte per second. Uh, shows you how much time you got left, how much percent done, how much status, the data rate. It shows where it's going to. It shows where it's coming from. And it shows the name of the file. It's really good. Now, you see this. It's solid blue here. That means it's finished. You just click clear over here. And <clears throat> it's got a few more. Now, um it's just got and I'm basically downloading all the videos on this person's uh, YouTube channel let's look at their Facebook page while that's going on obviously I got photonics on here I read a lot of Wikipedia like every day 
I was reading about Thunderbolt as a type of uh, interconnect and interface for like computer peripherals because there are like external U or not, not USB but there are external hard drives that use uh, Thunderbolt and originally they wanted to have a optical interface you know like fiber optic but then they wanted to be able to carry electricity so they had to go to using copper like copper wire but anyway um, there is a uh, yeah and then what I was looking at is oh here's optical computing all right I was looking Ooh, photonic crystal fiber. It's interesting. Um, yeah, there's nano optics. That's interesting. And you just open all these optical computing. Now, years ago, this is like 2007, maybe 2006 or whatever. And I thought about a microprocessor that uses uh, optics, uh, like fiber optics, instead of you know traditional uh, electrical circuits with transistors and all that and um, for a lot of fiber optic stuff the type of light they use is infrared uh, which is uh, light that is below um, usually below 700 nanometers in uh, wave in you know wavelength which is you know longer than 700 nanometers you know it might be 780 nanometers it might be 900 nanometers maybe even 940 nanometer wavelength um you know where the wavelength is longer than visible light um and you know you can see 800 nanometers uh if you know of the, the wavelength type of light if you're in a very very dark environment if you're in a very very dark room and it appears to be a very faint dim deep red um anyway um but i thought about the concept of um yeah that and but I, what i thought about is for the binary um instead of like in uh with electronics and you know and type of transistors and all that where you use uh different pulses of uh different size pulses of uh, electricity or voltage you know where they'll use a significantly large pulse of electricity and it's not very large i mean you know it, it could be anything from like it used to be five volts so we're talking about low voltages or 3.3 .3 or whatever you know three volts five volts whatever i think now they're like one volt is common but anyway um for example um using uh when it you know like 20 years ago when it used to be five volts um you know they um you know they would use uh, for example they'd use 5 volts a pulse of electricity of 5 volts representing a 1 bit a 1 binary bit and then they would you know for example use half of a volt to represent uh, a 0 bit well what i thought about is um you know instead of using that uh use uh wavelengths you know colors of light you know, uh, a zero bit, you know, maybe you could do it uh, as the red color. And then you could do a, a, a one bit as the blue color light. And then, you know, red and blue are distinctly different. And theoretically, I, well, it just depends. You know, you could basically have these running through the same um, fiber of optic like concurrently at the same time and maybe sharing the same space because they are different but it just depends and um but anyway um this stuff fascinates me you know what i'm saying um okay now fem tv here they are and um i commented on their pictures and all that oh um about okay there are photos ah uh, here we go here's the one I commented on and now I I commented on this earlier like this picture and I don't know if they deleted my comments or whatever but I did post c comments um Who's this? Okay. 
Stop labeling women. Like, why? Why, why should we stop lab labeling women? I mean, like, women label men as all kind of things. You know, asshole. You know, men are pigs. Men are assholes. Men are rapists. Men are stalkers. Men are wife beaters. Men. You know, I'm tired of this shit, you know? Um. Well, I wonder if they got rid of my, uh, comments. Because I posted, you know, um, hell. Okay, so anyway, that's that. Okay, now you're wondering. Okay, I took these videos. Arrange items. Um, reload. All right, film TV. Here they are. Now I downloaded some new videos from um, um, oh gosh, from um, Violent Women Among Us. You just highlight these, right click, copy. Uh, from from your main system, you know your hard drive where you have them on, and then I'm going to put these in um, in the video video live, and yeah, I, some of these I'm replacing. I'm just overwriting them because I just you know now this external USB hard drive has 3.0. It's USB 3.0. That's why they transferred so fast. And this computer is is pretty new. It's about a year old. Uh, I got a second generation. That's a Sandy Bridge uh, Intel Core i5 uh, 2320 processor, 3 gigahertz normal operating speed, goes up to 3.3 3, uh, gigahertz max turbo. I got 8 gigs of RAM. I got a terabyte of hard drive. I got a DVD burner. Um, you know, I'm using the standard integrated video. The max TDP on this processor is 95 watts of power consumption. That's when you push it to its maximum, so it doesn't always use that much power. But it's pretty good. Um, and um, even the Wi-Fi card, you see I'm using Wi-Fi right now. 89% uh, signal. Of course, the router's like right across. Well, 97% signal. The router's just right across the room. Uh, this Wi-Fi automatically worked in Linux without any configuration. That's because the, the chipset in the Wi-Fi card for this computer... Um, it's made by Rawlink, which is like one of the best, um, companies for Linux support. And, uh, they, um, I hope this company stays in business for a long time. Um, they are, uh, they're, they're really good. Yeah, like... Rawlink has like legendary Linux uh, support for their, um, you know, for their uh, products. And this computer is actually made by Gateway, which is, um, uh, it's been bought out by uh, Acer. But this is a Gateway DX series 4860. And every piece of hardware automatically worked with Linux without any need for configuration. And it was just great. All right. Now, the USB controller, of course, you know, uh, integrated USB automatic, integrated USB 3.0 automatically worked in Linux, you know, whereas with, you know, well, now with Windows 8, I think they have, like, native USB support, uh, USB 3.0 support. Finally, I mean, fuck. I mean, Linux has had it for, you know, like, what, more than three years? is coming in the kernel standard, you know, but, you know, Microsoft has to be behind, you know, and everybody trust them. All right, now let's see if I got FemTV. Um, I don't think I got them on there. All right, so we got this. I, I recently created this, um, this folder, this directory of, uh, and it's got all these videos that I downloaded off these people's YouTube channel. Now we just copy it from, you know, the computer onto the external USB hard drive. And here it goes, you know. Wow, look how fast that is. 819 meg is transferred in a matter of seconds uh, with USB 3.0. Um, 
you know, there's a sustained speed right there. Um, it usually peaks out around 80 megabyte per second a lot of times. It just depends on what type of files you're transferring. You know, if there's little small ones that you gotta, you know, or whether they're larger ones. Well, hell, come on. I know you can do faster than that. Well, I am running out of space on this hard drive. Um, like, this is a 2 terabyte hard drive, and it's only got, like, a few gig left on it that's free. It's empty. Uh, that is how we, um, update our, um, well, there's a few more things, just to make sure. Yep. I'll take here, uh, highlight one, hold the control button, um, and just click on these, right click, copy, and then we'll organize them, put them in this folder where they belong, and you can organize them however way, and I'll just copy this over. And it's about a half gigabyte to transfer. Um, I got a bunch of commercials on here, videos from miscellaneous people, things that I study basically. Um, and anything relevant to the gender war. And um, <clears throat> so. Um, Anyway, on my, uh, and here's just some, uh, some of my, uh, oh, fuck, where's my movies? Yeah, here's, uh, high quality, of course, I got Gender War, and I got a bunch of these movies here, um, got them all ripped and transcoded, and me and the Disposable Human Doing, you know, we study these things, and, um, so anyway... And that's what we do. We uh, we copy over. We just download and save a bunch of people's videos. Uh, let's see. Inbox anymore. Oh, yeah. Let's see who we got. Oh, fuck. I haven't heard from this guy in a while. Cult of the Old Gods. Do they? All right. I didn't know that. Can you explain to me a little bit more? Uh, please read them behind. Women deserving hate. Uh, I would really like to know your opinion on the subject. Thanks. I hope he's uh, being cool. Um, <laughs> oh, he said that to Mr. Vampire Lover Fifty Six. Oh man, Mr. Vampire Lover Fifty Six. Once he becomes empowered with as much knowledge as me and the disposable human doing are aware of, and then and combine that with Barbarossa, Stardust, Girl Rights, What, Man, Woman, Myth, and a bunch of these other good people, then you know Mr. Vampire Lover Fifty Six is gonna fuck up Cult of the Old Gods. Um. <laughs> Invisible gun theory. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, so anyway, uh, shout out to Mr. Vampire Lover Fifty Six. Uh, he's pretty cool. Um, that's who this video is more targeted toward. Uh, but you know, anybody who wants to learn this kind of stuff, and uh, it's cool. But this is how we build up our video libraries. And we study this stuff, you know. Um, it's everywhere. It's in video games, TVs, you know, TV shows, movies, like all kind of stuff. And you know, uh, Anita Sarkeesian of Feminist Frequency, and you know, she argues that um, that you know, media such as TV, movies, literature, all this other stuff is is actually, um, you know hateful and degrading to women but in reality no it's it's actually more harmful about you know it's more harmful toward men because after all you know like i say whenever you know whenever the vagina cries everyone listens you know what i'm saying i mean we all came from the vagina you know whether we're men or women we still have some kind of dependency some kind of loyalty or whatever to the vagina and all that and that's an oversimplification of um of of the problem uh on whole um and uh anyway um oh yeah i need to start getting, yeah oh gosh the things i say on here is pretty badass um um and just just so you know uh 
Emma Cady, also known as uh, Emma Claire. She's a really hardcore bigot because uh, what she said at that um, Warren Farrell um, speaking event was that, you know, men's rights and focus on helping men, um, you know, somehow takes away from women. Uh, yeah, she's pretty hardcore bigot, and she's poop mouth bitch, and she's basically a terrorist because she was inciting, you know, um, the violence and all that. Um, of course, no consequence. She's poop mouth, and uh, so anyway, I'm going to end this video here. This is just basically a tutorial um, about how to set up your vidlib, as we call it, our video library. Um, and this is a requisite. This is a um, requirement for um, members of my organizations, uh, and uh, you know, and just the the whole big scheme. And this is what we do, you know, us hardcore gender warriors. Um. So um, until next time, I'm Manslave, and uh, keep on the great work.